welcome back now we learn the use of four function keys that is f5 f6 f7 and f8 so to understand the use of function key first let's enter into a debugging mode by typing slash h into command field slash h enter now we click on execute button here we can see different tab so for some better screen click on desktop 3 so here we can see the program flow and right hand side you can check the content values okay so here on the left hand side on top here you can see four keys f5 that is single step f6 execute f7 is written and f8 to continue so let's see first what is f5 when you press the key f5 so program execution is done line by line For example now this yellow arrow indicates the current position okay now if i click here on f5 now the execution is started so the data declaration part we cannot debug okay this is data declaration part so we can debug only the execution part okay so breakpoint we cannot set or we cannot debug the data declaration part fine so press f5 now you can see after the start of selection this is the first perform routine get data and the row number is 155 now if i click on single step f5 system will go inside this perform subroutine okay now i press f5 okay so now we are inside this form routine get data so here is the first select query now if i again press f5 okay so this select query is executed we can see the record in gt underscore list this is the internal table double click on this so on the right hand side we can see the total record of 97 in this now after pressing f5 the current position is at row number 181 okay now if i again press f5 this will execute the next statement and f5 on next statement like this the f5 key is used to execute the program flow line by line okay now next see the use of f6 key so like this here first it was like form routine get underscore data and when i click f5 here okay we entered into this form routine and we executed line by line to take example in real time some block we do not want to execute that can be a function model a class or a form routine okay now here i don't want to execute this perform routine i want to directly jump here okay now here if i press f5 this will go inside this form routine okay so let me show you if i click again f5 here see now we are inside the build data but i don't want to execute this block okay now by mistake i have entered in this form routine so how to go back so first we'll learn how to make use of f7 now once i click on f7 see it is written okay and the position is next line okay now it's still we're not executed f6 we have to learn how to use f6 now again first i want to go at row number 151 so how to go to this step back we don't have to like come out of debugger and execute again simply right click here again see right click here and here click on go to a statement once you click on this see the error position again we are back at number 151 but this time i don't want to ex go inside this perform routine so what i will do I will press F6. So if I press F6, see my position is next perform routine. 
Okay. Now I want to execute this one by one. Again, I will bring F5 and inside loop, we can check our data. Okay. So like this, we can make use of F66 key. Now again, I want to go back out of this loop. So I will just cut F7. So now I am here at the row number 153. Okay, so we learn how to make use of F5 to execute line by line, F6 for complete block execution, F7 for return. Now F8 is still pending that I will show at the last. Now let's go inside display data. Okay, so here now I am inside this form routine display data. Now my requirement is now I am inside this form routine. Okay, but my requirement is here, I don't want to go one by line by line all the steps. Directly, I want to jump here at row number 359. Okay, here for this function model call. And after that, I will set one more breakpoint. Okay, I don't want any other breakpoint. I directly want to jump here. But now, I'm already here inside the form routine. Now, if I press F5, system will execute all the lines one by one, one by one. Okay. And to jump directly here on this function model, set a breakpoint here, 359. Okay. So current position is at 253. Now execute, click on F8 button. This is also called execute or continue. Okay. Now in case, if we don't have any breakpoint set here, system will execute a complete program else if we press F8 from the current position the breakpoint will stop at the next set breakpoint like currently we have set the breakpoint at 359 okay so first I will click on F5 see current position 257 now I press F8 see we have directly jump to row number 359 Okay, now this is a standard function model. So if you want to also debug this function model, press F5 or if you don't want to debug this function model, you want directly to execute this function model, click on F6. So once you click F6, this complete function model will get executed. Okay, similar to like for form data, which I explained earlier. Okay, now I'll press F6. You can see the output because this screen, the output screen is called inside the function model. That's why you can see directly as output. Okay, go back. See here. Now we are at the position after this function model. Okay, now I will click. Again, F8. Fine. So this is how we can make use of function key F5, F6, F7 and F8 while debugging the ABAP program.